Welcome back, you guys. We are on day four. I can't quite believe it, um, but yes, that's how fast it goes. Uh, so we're back here again for our whole self work week. Your photos, your inspirational quotes, everything that you've been hashtagging are amazing. We love them so much, so keep them going. And um, I know so many of you enjoyed the restorative practice last night as well. So again, all these videos will stay on YouTube. They will stay on um, Whole Self Yoga Instagram. And those of you who are a part of my Whole Self Live and On Demand membership, these will also be uploaded into the library there as well. So lots of places to get your 30 minute uh, flow when you need it. Today is our back and shoulders flow. So if you're anything like me, my back, I'm sure it has something to do with having had four children, but also probably like all of us sitting in chairs, uh, sitting in cars, whatever it is, and really, um, you know, that spine can start to get really very compressed. So this is an opportunity for us to really lengthen the spine, but also the shoulders, again, which are connected to the spine, this in particular, the back of the neck, the cervical part of the spine. We wanna be able to soften the shoulders as well today. So definitely look out and listen out for little cues like lengthen the crown of the head away from the tailbone, draw your shoulder blades down the back, just so we can really start to create that length in the body and to release that compression in the spine. So first things first, we're gonna start on our back, but we're gonna start with a twist. So go ahead, it's a very, very sunny day here at Mapperton, which is, oh, I have to say, it's so, so nice just to have the sun shining on me, even though it's a little bit cold <laughs> outside, it's nice to see the sun. So we're gonna roll back onto the back, and we are gonna take it into a twisted roots. Now, usually we finish off classes with twisted roots and our spine is nice and open then, but we're gonna start with twisted roots today just to feel a bit of a difference between this twist and maybe as we get further on into the practice. So go ahead, roll down onto your back and we'll start with the soles of the feet onto the mat. We'll lift the right leg, Place the right hamstring over the left thigh. I would recommend just doing one wrap here, so it's the first twist of the day. One wrap, squeezing your inner thighs in. Lift the hips and just lightly move that left hip over to the right. Lower the left hip down and just allow the knees without too much force or really any force to drop over to the left. And then just cactus your arms here and we'll start with three of those wonderful cleansing breaths. So take a deep, full breath in. And open up the mouth and let that breath out. Nice and slow here, deep, full breath in. Cleansing breath, open up the mouth, let that breath out. And one more time, full breath in. And we open up the mouth and let that breath out. And then very, very slowly, I'm just gonna bring the knees back to center and do it on the other side. So unravel to re-ravel. So left hamstring on top of your right thigh, squeeze your inner thighs together a little bit, lift the hips, scooch that right hip over to the left, then bring the right hip down to the mat and allow the knees to just flop on over to the right. But now that we've done those cleansing breaths, keeping the mouth closed and coming into a breath where your exhale is longer than your inhale. So deep, full breath in through the nose. Keep the mouth closed and exhale out of the nose. And again, full breath in. Keep the mouth closed and just exhale out of the nose. And one more time, full breath in. And very, very slowly exhale out of the nose. Your back loves you for this. Trust me, it loves you for this. Good, very slowly bring those knees back to center, unravel, and just hug the knees into the chest. 
Catch a hold of the outer edges of your wrists, your forearms, or your elbows. Lengthen the tailbone down and start to take that little rock from side to side. So again, opening up the spine by just allowing it to be massaged by this rock from side to side to side. And when you're ready, go ahead. If you're rocking, rock yourself back to center. So rocking yourself back to center. Lift the legs, slide the hands to the backs of the knees. I think you know the drill by now. And start to rock and roll up and down and around your mat. So up, down, and around. Again, this doesn't need to look like anything. I always think that five rocks up and down is, for some reason, is like a good number. So try to get five or more in. And when you're ready, come on up. Cross at the ankles, plant your hands, spread the fingers, lift the hips, and today we're gonna step straight back into that downward facing dog. So stepping straight back into that downward facing dog, and again, finding the space between the heels of the hands and the tops of the feet that works for you. So if you need to shorten your or lengthen your dog, go ahead, by all means, do that. Once you've found your downward facing dog, it's always nice to take a little bend of one knee and then a bend of the other knee. So again, we're starting to move, not just the backs, the legs here, but starting to move the hips and the sides of the waist. So moving the hips and the sides of the waist. Do that a few more times. Keeping that breath on, mouth closed, breathing in and out of the nose that you are controlling, and then go ahead, exhale, just back to a still downward facing dog. From your still downward facing dog, Take an inhale and just move the body forward into a high plank. So move the body forward into a high plank, push the floor away. And as you exhale, lower your knees, lift the tailbone, bring the chest and the chin down in between your hands, Ashtanga Namaskara. We're gonna inhale, slide the thighs back, coming onto the belly, lifting up into that cobra. And as you exhale in your cobra, just draw the shoulder blades down the back. Yes, good. And then as you inhale, take your gaze over to the right. So take the gaze over to the right. And as you exhale, take the gaze back to center. And now inhale, take the gaze over to the left. And exhale, gaze back to center. Another deep, full breath in here. And as you exhale, bring the hips back towards the heels into your child's pose, just for a breath here, full breath in, and a full breath out. Once again, we're gonna inhale, come forward into tabletop, exhale, curl your toes under, lift your hips up and back, down dog, just one breath here in your down dog, breathe in. And we're going to breathe it out. Good, from your downward facing dog today, we're gonna to walk the hands back to the feet, walk the hands back to the feet, gentle bend in the knees, and begin to round yourself all the way up. So rounding yourself all the way up. Again, roll your shoulder blades up, back and down. So you're at the back of your mat, toe heel your feet back together, big toes to touch, little gap between your ankles, coming into your Tadasana. And here is where we will set our intention today. Again, you might have a different intention than you had over the past three days, or it might just be the same intention, and that's okay. For me, personally, it's the same intention. Not always, but this week it is. But whatever's tugging at your heart, something that you need to bring more in, or something you need to release more of, allow that to shape your intention. Blink your eyes open, as always. Have a great practice, you guys. As you inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. So again, lift and lengthen through the four sides of the waist. And as you exhale, hinge the hips, come all the way down into that forward fold. As you inhale, you're gonna lift up to that halfway lift. And as you exhale, you're gonna walk your hands forward into your downward facing dog. One breath in your downward facing dog. Breathe in. And we breathe it out. Good, we're gonna bend the knees, look forward. Your choice, you can step your feet up to the space between the hands or do a little hop up, float up. Inhale, lifts you up halfway. And the exhale brings you down to that forward fold. Let's go inhale to chair, so bend your knees, sit back. So hips draw back, bring the arms up. 
and take one exhale and twist to the right. So one long exhale, twist to the right, hips drawing back. And now inhale takes you back up to chair and exhale, twist it to the left, draw those hips back. Inhale again, takes you back up to chair. I know, squeeze those knees together. Exhale, take a twist to the right, stay with palms together, or maybe inhale, yawn your arms open. We're gonna look down beyond the feet. Shift the weight into the right leg. This is quite fun. If you fall out, good. That's what you should be doing. We're gonna start to lift the left heel up towards the left sitting bone, extend the left leg back as the crown of the head extends forward. And when we're ready, and you tried it a couple of times or you held it, softly land the left ball of the foot back. Whoo, yes, and then inhale, take it up into that high lunge. So taking it up into that high lunge, brilliant, you guys. And then from here, we're just gonna backstroke the right hand back so that it can catch a hold of really that left hamstring, so that left hamstring. And as you inhale, slide your right hand down that left hamstring and reach that left arm up. One more breath here, breathe in. Just stay here, maybe exhale, go back a little bit more. And then inhale, take those arms back up alongside the ears and exhale to that high lunge. Brilliant, you guys. Inhale, we're gonna open it up to that warrior two. And from our exhale, we're gonna straighten through that right leg. So both legs are straight. Maybe bump your left foot in a little bit. Next, inhale, extend the right arm forward coming into our trikonasana. So coming into that trikonasana, back of the right hand to the inside of the right ankle, left arm is reaching up. If you want more of a shoulder opener, remember this is back and shoulders, bring the left hand behind you and find t-shirt trousers or your right inner thigh. One more breath here, you've got this. Breathe in and breathe it out. Utita trikonasana. Good, from here, Inhale takes you back up to standing and we exhale, we re-bend to that warrior two. Inhale, pivot onto the left ball of the foot, high lunge, excellent. And then from here, we're gonna exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. So exhaling, bringing the hands down to the mat. Inhale, reach the right arm up. So inhaling, reaching the right arm up. Exhale, moving onto the blade of the left foot right leg on top. Remember, you can always bring your back knee down, your left knee down. As you inhale, reach the right arm up. And as you exhale, we're gonna twist by bringing the right arm underneath your left arm. So twisting through that torso. And then again, inhale to reach the right arm up. And exhale to twist. So it's about like the right arm's threading underneath your left arm. One more time, just inhale to reach, that's it. Exhale, extend the right arm across your right ear. Inhale, the right hand down to the mat, into your high plank, and exhale, lower through your vinyasa. Inhale is that upward facing dog. And exhale, takes you back, downward facing dog. Good, just one breath here, breathe in. And we breathe out. So again, you're gonna look at the space between the hands, Bend the knees, look forward, step, float, or lightly hop your feet to that space. Take an inhale to lift it up halfway. And exhale to bring you down to that forward fold. Let's go back to that chair. So we're gonna inhale to chair. Bend your knees, sit back, bring the arms up. And take one long exhale and twist to the left this time. One long exhale, twist to the left. Stay low, inhale takes you back up to chair. Exhale, twist it to the right. And again, inhale takes you back up to chair. And we're gonna exhale, twist it to the left, but we stay here. So we can look down at the feet, start to lift the right heel up to the right sitting bone, extend the right leg back. Remember, you're working on your balance here, but keeping that upper body twisting over that left leg. When you're ready, softly land the right ball of the foot back. And inhale takes you up to this high lunge. So we're in this high lunge. We're gonna take this left hand, backstroke it behind us to catch a hold of that right hamstring. As we inhale, we reach the right arm up. And as we exhale, 
we slide the left hand down that right hamstring. One more breath here, breathe in, and we breathe it out. Good, we're gonna inhale, take it back into a high lunge, and we exhale, we open it up to that warrior two. And again, we're gonna stay here for a breath, breathe in, and we breathe it out. Good, we're gonna inhale, straighten through that left leg, and exhale, move into that trikonasana. So moving into that trikonasana, right arm's extending up. We can take the right arm around us and find t-shirt trousers or the left inner thigh for that lovely, lovely shoulder opener here. One more breath, breathe in. And we breathe it out. Inhale takes you back up to center. Exhale to re-bend to that warrior two. And we're gonna inhale, pivot onto the right ball of the foot into that high lunge. And we exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Inhale to sweep the left arm up. Stay here or exhale onto the blade of the right foot, left leg on top into your side plank. And this is where this little twist comes in. We inhale, lift the hips, lift the left arm. But we exhale, thread the left arm underneath your right. So twisting through the torso, feel that twist. And again, inhale to extend and exhale to take that twist. One more time, you're gonna inhale to lift up. Now we exhale, extend the left arm across the left ear. Inhale the left hand down to the mat into your high plank and exhale lower through your vinyasa. Inhale, that sun feels amazing, upward facing dog. And exhale, takes you back, downward facing dog. One breath here, so breathe in and we breathe it out. Good, very, very slowly lower your knees down to the mat. Walk your hands back to your knees, up your thighs, and we're gonna take it into Ustrasana. So bring the heels of your hands, your lower back to your lower back or the two fists to your lower back and then just draw your elbows in. So really draw the elbows in. And as we inhale, we're coming into our Ustrasana, Inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale to take it back for one. Just two more breaths here. Breathe in, lift the thoracic up. Use your exhale to lengthen the tailbone down using those heels of the hands or your two fists. And one more time, inhale, extend it up, and exhale to take it back. Good, inhale very slowly to come back to center. We're gonna exhale, hands down to the mat, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. And from the downward facing dog, again, just take a breath in, breathe in, and breathe it out. We're gonna walk the hands back again to the feet. So walking the hands back to the feet. Take a little ragdoll here, catch opposite elbows with your hands, maybe take a little swing from side to side to side. And then releasing your hands away from your elbows very slowly, inhale, just to round yourself all the way up. So rounding yourself all the way up. Roll your shoulder blades up, back and down a couple of times. That feels good. And then we're gonna shift the weight into the left leg. So we're gonna shift the weight into the left leg, nice and long in the spine. Try not to round forward. We're just gonna bend the right knee, bend the right knee, catch a hold of the right knee with the left hand and reach the right arm up, option one. Option two, slide the left hand down to the outside of the right foot and extend the right leg out. From here, take a full breath in, and as you exhale, you're gonna to start to twist the upper body back. So right arm can extend back parallel to the floor beneath you. Maybe the gaze goes all the way back as well. One more breath here, breathe in, squeeze your left glute, and breathe it out. Good, inhale takes you back to center. Let's release the right leg forward, reach the arms up, and start to bend the right knee back, stroke the right hand back, coming into our Nada Rajasana dancer's pose. Bring the knees together, square the hips, and again, inhale, first find the extension, and as you exhale, then you start to kick the foot back into the hand, but the hand presses into the foot as well. So finding that dual action there. Chest is extending forward. One more breath here. Maybe go to your full expre ex expression. Breathe in, in your extension. 
and breathe it out. So inhale, bring the right knee back to the left knee, and we exhale, release the right foot down, arms alongside the body for your Tadasana. Full breath in, and a full breath out. So again, we're gonna shift the weight into the right leg, bend the left knee into the chest, Catch a hold of your left knee with your right hand and extend the left arm up. So first find height and length in the spine. Those of you who want to slide the right hand down to the outside of your left foot, go ahead and then you extend the left leg out. From here, even if with your hand is to your knee, we're going to start to find that twist. So start to backstroke the left hand straight back behind you, coming into our twisted Utita Hasta Padagustasana, upper body twisting back, maybe looking beyond your left fingertips, one more breath here, breathe in and breathe it out. Inhale takes you back to center. If your left knee is bent, go ahead, straighten it out. Try not to back bend, reach the arms up. Now bend your left knee, back stroke your left hand behind you, catch a hold of the inside of your left foot with your left hand. Knees together, hips stay square. Take an inhale to extend. Keep that extension in the spine as you exhale, Move into your Nadarajasana. Chest is pressing forward. You've got it. If you fall, you just get right back in. One more breath. Breathe in. And breathe it out. Inhale. Slowly to bring your left knee back to your right knee. And exhale. Release the left foot down. Arms alongside the body. Full breath in. Breathe in. And we breathe it out. Amazing, you guys. Very, very slowly from here. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Come all the way back down. Inhale to lift you up to that halfway lift. And as you exhale, walk your hands forward into your downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, full breath in, breathe in. And we breathe it out. Very slowly on your inhale, travel the body forward into your high plank. And as you exhale, lower all the way down onto the front side of your body for five. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. You can always bring your knees down, two and one. Good. Once you've come down, we're going to interlace the fingers right away. Start by bringing the forehead to the mat. That will keep the back of the neck nice and long. Feet can be hip or shoulder width distance apart, or you can... Glue the legs together, coming into our Shalabhasana. So engage those thighs so you can feel the kneecaps lifting up off the mat. Exhale everything out of the body. And as you inhale, lift your feet, your ankles, your shins, your knees, your thighs as much as they can. Same with your chest, crown of the head extending up. And as you exhale, point the toes back and allow the fist to draw back towards your heels. Two more breaths. Breathe in. And breathe it out. I'm going to close my eyes because the sun is right here. It's amazing. Breathe in for three. And breathe out for three. Good. Inhale very slowly. Come all the way down. We're going to release those hands. Just let them flop to either side of the body. And start to shimmy your hips from side to side to side. Keeping the forehead on the mat. Bend the knees and catch a hold of the outsides of your ankles or your feet. I like to catch the ankles and then flex the feet, but see what feels best for you. So coming into our bow pose, Dhanurasana, start by first pressing really that pelvic floor down. That's gonna to help to lengthen the tailbone. That's why we do that and it helps to protect the lower back. Exhale again, everything out of the body. And on your inhale again, you're gonna lift the thighs up off the mat, lift the chest and extend the crown of the head up. And as you exhale, you find more extension in the spine. So the inhale, we're lifting maybe a little bit higher, but the exhale, we wanna extend the tailbone away from the crown of the head. One more time. So inhale to lift, but use the exhale to find that extension in the spine. Very slowly. Come all the way down, bring your forehead down to the mat. Let your arms flop, but you can keep your knees bent and maybe just windscreen your feet from side to side to side. Go ahead, windscreen your legs, back to center. 
Let your legs flap. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and go ahead, take it back into that child's pose, just to lengthen through the spine. So into that child's pose. One more breath in your child's pose. Breathe in. And we breathe it out. Good, very, very slowly. Just lift yourself up into that tabletop. Walk your hands back to your knees, resting your hips onto your heels. Close your eyes here. I've got wonderful sun like wah, right in my face. It's amazing. If you don't have sun in your face, don't worry, right? You've got sun inside of you. You've got a light, a brightness right inside of you. So breathe in that warmth and that light and that brightness. So take a full breath in and a full breath out. Blink your eyes open. Shift your hips to one side of your heels. It doesn't matter what side. I'm just gonna turn around this way so you guys can see a little bit more. Extend your legs nice and long. So with the legs extending long from here, we're gonna keep the left leg long, bend the right knee, and just lift the right foot up and over that left thigh. Then we're gonna bend that left knee and bring that left heel to the right sitting bone. So coming into our Ardha Matsya Andrasana, lovely twist here. Inhale, arms reach. And as you exhale, bend your left elbow. Wrap the left upper arm across the outer seam of your right thigh. Bring the right hand to the base of your spine. And as you inhale again, lift up through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, find that twist. It's a three breath hold. Breathe and lift up through the crown of the head for two. And we exhale for two. And one more breath in for three. And we exhale for three. Good, we're gonna inhale, come all the way around to the left. Now listen closely here. We come to the left, we pick the feet up, and we continue to turn the body all the way to the left in a circle. And we're really just, again, pivoting on the feet. So we come back down and we're ready for the other side. So right heel, if that didn't make any sense, don't worry. You're just gonna bring your right heel to your left sitting bone, left sole of the foot comes up and over that right thigh, coming into Ardha Matsya Andrasana, this side. Inhale, the arms lift. As you exhale, bend your right elbow, wrap the right upper arm across the outer seam of that left thigh, back stroke your left hand back, get it as close to the base of the spine as you can. And then again, we find that inhale, we lift. And when I exhale, I get to go right into the sun for one. Again, if you don't have the sun by you, imagine that warm sun on you right now. Breathe in for two, even if it's the dead of winter. And exhale for two. And one more breath in for three. Oh yes, and we exhale for three. Good, again, we're gonna inhale, come around to the right, but we're just gonna use a counter twist here. And exhale back to center. Amazing, you guys, very, very slowly from here. We'll again, just bring the soles of the feet down onto the mat, lift the legs, slide the hands to the backs of the knees, draw the belly towards the thighs, and the thighs towards the belly to get that spine nice and long. You can then release your arms parallel to the floor. You can also even lengthen your legs. Just for five, coming into our boat pose for four, for three, lifting up for two and one. And then again, we slowly, we lower all the way down onto the mat, coming all the way down. Amazing, you guys. Good, from here, we're gonna take it into Halasana, but those of you who wanna go up into shoulder stand, you absolutely can do that as well. So getting into Halasana, starting to lift the legs and bring the feet over towards the crown of the head. Don't worry if your feet don't touch the floor beneath you, just keep your legs straight. Once you've got your legs over, start to walk your upper arms in towards one another, maybe interlacing your fingers. And we're gonna stay in Halasana today just to feel, again, an amazing, amazing stretch in that lower back. But of course, if you want to lift up into shoulder stand, by all means, lift up into shoulder stand. Three breaths here, breathe in. 
and breathe it out. And then inhale for two and exhale for two and a final breath into the body for three. And we exhale for three. Now listen closely here. I'm gonna lift my left leg up. So lift the left leg up, bring the hands to the lower back. So bring the hands to the lower back, start to bend your left knee and start to lower the left foot down and start to lower then the right foot down and boom, you're in bridge. So you're in really an assisted bridge with your hands on your lower back. You can always release the hands and interlace your fingers underneath your back. You can take it up into wheel. If wheel is in your practice, go ahead, take it up into wheel. So hands by your ears and then lifting up into your wheel. Here we go, three breaths. So breathe in, either staying in bridge or lifting up into wheel and exhale for one. And then inhale for two and exhale for two. And a full breath into the body for three. And we exhale, four, three. Good, and then you're very, very slowly gonna lower down. You've gotta lower down upper back, middle back, lower back, sacrum, tailbone, boom, you're there. Once again, hug your knees into your chest. Take a little rock from side to side to side. Lower the soles of the feet down, coming into Twisted roots, exactly how we started, but hopefully it'll feel a little bit different this time. Lift that right leg, place the right hamstring over the left thigh, squeeze your inner thighs. This time if you wanna take a double wrap, go ahead, you're definitely more open. Lift the hips and just move that left hip over to the right. Allow those hips to drop to the left and cactus your arms or lengthen your arms. Close your eyes, remembering your intention, breathe in like right into that heart, it needs your breath. And exhale, breathe into your heart for two. And exhale for two. What thoughts are you breathing into your heart for three? Good thoughts, positive thoughts, empowering and exhale for three, uplifting thoughts. Slowly bring your knees back to center. Unravel and take it on the other side. So left hamstring over your right thigh, lift the hips. Again, you can double wrap here and then just allow that right hip to move to the left, lower the right hip down and allow the knees to flop on over to the right. And as we take these three breaths together, those thoughts that you're breathing in as well, again, make them inspiring, healing thoughts, Whatever your heart needs right now, shape your thoughts around that. Breathe in and breathe it out. In for two and out for two. And a full breath in for three. And we exhale for three. Bring your knees back to center you know the drill, lengthen your legs long, let your arms flop to either side of the body, coming into your final amazing resting pose, Shavasana. And you may, again, not have the sun on you. I've got such an intense sun on me right now. I don't even wanna put the shade down because feeling the sun right now is just incredible. But if you don't have the sun on you, I want you to imagine in your Shavasana right now, imagine the warmth of the sun and allow that warmth to penetrate within you. The warmth of the sun, the warmth of the sun, the energy from the sun, the lightness, the brightness, the spark, the fire, all those fantastic, brilliant elements that the sun gives. Bring them in, bring them in right now. And allow that just to move around in and out and around your heart center, the warmth, the brightness, 
the healing, the nurturing, the nurturing, nurturing, the nourishing. Those of you who do want to stay longer in your Shavasana, by all means, stay longer. If you are ready, start to find movement, fingers, toes, hands, feet. Bring your knees into your chest. Hug them in, hug them in. Roll to either the right or the left to help press yourself all the way up to your comfortable seated position. Once you've come up into your comfortable seated position, just rest the backs of the hands on your knees, the thumbs and the index fingers together coming into Jnana Mudra. And again, this is the receiving mudra, receiving from the outside. So again, imagine you're just receiving that sun in the warmth, the energy of the sun, of your intention that you set. We'll close with the breath. So exhale everything out. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And on your inhale, again, just breathe in warmth, energy, bright, light, healing, nurturing, nourishing. Let it get into that heart. And when you're ready, open up the mouth and exhale. Blink your eyes open. Thank you, everybody, so much. I wish I could transport this sun to you right now. Maybe some of you do have the sun, but don't worry if you don't. I am sending it through the screen to you right now, this glorious sun. I have to say, it doesn't. the sun does not shine very much in England. Uh, I think England is very much known for its rain. Well, in fact, all of the UK. So to have this wonderful sun uh, while I'm teaching you guys, I think is a real joy. It's a real blessing. And um, hopefully you can feel it through the screen. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I can't believe it. We're day four. One more day. So see you tomorrow. If you've never done mandala, it's super fun. Tomorrow day five is vinyasa but it's 360 around the mat it's a really really fun practice be sure to uh, again post anything that we can see uh, on social media hashtag whole self yoga uh, to get yourself entered into this great giveaway and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye everybody